Stage two, we're up here at the Nature Reserve. The riders have just rocketed in, and Pierre Latour times it to perfection, launching that attack, holding off the chase behind. The UAE boys are having a discussion about what happened. The chase led by Simon Yates and the others, but they couldn't pull him back. Oh, a lot of discussion going on. Favorite color? Just <laughs> blue. Blue, I like blue. So we saw the attack, Pierre Latour going off. You were doing a lot of chasing. Everybody was watching that. And uh, the winner comes from Uno X there. Yeah, I mean, uh, we had a couple of different game plans there for, for us. Um, Dylan wasn't so uh, feeling so good and on the climb, and, and it was touch and go with uh, Luca. So, uh, yeah, I just tried to keep it together and then see if it does come back to, to a sprint. Um, it's a little bit too hard for Luca in the end, but uh, yeah, I think personally my legs are quite good, so we'll uh, hopefully I'll take that for the rest of the week. It's Warren Scold, a beast. Is that who won? Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't too sure. After I uh, pulled off from sort of chasing a couple of moves, I uh, let the fast boys do the business. Windy, uh, maybe not as steep and punchy as you would like it. Uh, what's your assessment of that climb after having raced it? Um, I think it was harder than I was expecting purely because the day was quite stressful and uh, I mean, the, actually the wind was a different direction than I think uh, we were expecting, so uh, it was easier, if that makes sense, but uh, still a very stressful day. Um, had to be attentive for, uh, you know, 200 kilometers, so that takes its toll when you get to the final. Plan now? What is the plan? Yeah, I just keep staying safe, not, try not to lose any time. Uh, I know my, my day's coming to the end, so uh, yeah, just try and stay safe till then. We just heard uh, from Simon Yates there, and in all the confusion as well, we thought Pierre Latour held off the bunch. In fact, he faded right at the end, and in the white jersey, the massive unit of Sorn Warnskull pulls off the victory. We're going to have to check. He might also have the leader's green jersey as well. Casper, how was that day out there in the green jersey? We saw DSM really putting the hammer down out there. Yeah, I think we had a good day. We, uh, yeah, we took the lead, and we had, a, we had our plan again. Unfortunately, we didn't win, but I think we showed good teamwork and we showed we're on the right way. A lot of experience out there for you in the leader's jersey after stage win. Yeah, I think uh, it was nice. It's yeah. also nice to feel it and nice for for everyone. And uh, yeah, I think it was. We're still, yeah. Of course, we'd rather win, but I think we did a lot of things good, and we showed good teamwork again. So that's uh, that's good for us. We just looked at the results together. Soren Warrenskold is now the new leader. You guys are on the same time. I th think you finished fifth on the stage, so still a great result. What does this mean going in neck and neck with him over the next couple of stages? Yeah, I think today we had two guys in the top five. I think yeah, that's really good. And uh, I think we show we have a good team, so uh, we have more opportunities to come. And finally, how aggressive was the racing? Because you guys, in this final 6K before that left-hander and then up the climb too, we saw guys going off the road into the gravel. It looked aggressive. Yeah, yeah, it was quite hard when the climbers started to go full gas uphill, but I think it wasn't quite steep enough for them. And uh, we had good legs, so uh, Niels also did a super job. The plan was for us both to, to follow them and see uh, whoever had the freshest legs just go for it. And we both did a good result, so uh, I think uh, we can be satisfied. But we'd rather win, of course. Uh, there goes Casper. We just heard from him on the same time now with our new race leader in the green jersey, Soren Warrenskull, the Norwegian. And you'll notice him. He's massive, tall, it do usually does a lead out job, usually also sprints for his own right. And today, sprinting up here at the top of the nature reserve, some people thought it was going to be a day for the climber. Simon Yates kind of thought that too. They gave it a crack, but some of these sprinters like Soren. And even like Casper was able to stay in there for fifth place result. Excellent second place for you. I know it's not victory, but it shows what you're doing out here. A lot of power and a lot of strength. Yeah, it's, it was just good second place for me and for the team. Uh, as we planned, everything the team controls for me all the day. They go in the wind. Uh, without them, I can't uh, do this uh, second place. Uh, in the last, uh, all the team also helped me to go in the good position. and. Uh, after in the last uh, 300 meters, I tried my best and uh, I, I couldn't have enough uh, crank, but it was okay and uh, it's really good uh, the way I started the season with uh, my team. Was it what you expected the climb? Did you want something harder on the finish uh, that would suit you better? <laughs> yeah, uh, it suits me like this and uh, as we spoke with the team to do top three today or top ten. and. Uh, I really like like this finish 
and uh, it was my plan to do this from the start with the team. It was really hard for me, also for the group, because in the first part there is a lot of uh, crosswind. Also the finish is really, really hard because of the wind and climb. And so I think uh, I have to happy. Yeah. He's more stronger and uh, I look forward for the coming stage. Thank you. Which stage for you was going to be the best? <sighs> also today is really best for me. and. Uh, I don't disappoint. I did a good, good job with the team. So uh, the last stage also okay. uh, a bit hard uh, stage for everybody, and I try my best to go for GC. Playing the game with the GC guys too, because we saw Simon Yates doing some chasing as well. I mean, you were biding your time. Yeah, I just try to. Uh, yeah, but honestly, when they go really hard like that, I'm quite on the limit. So I didn't want to go too uh, up in the red zone because I wanted to. Try to uh, collect my legs, or how do you say, like on the yeah. top? So, uh, have yeah, have a little bit of rest. So, like almost exactly as I did last year, because I know that I I can't follow on the highest pace. So then I can drop a few places. But uh, it's all about having the best sprint at the end uh, on these kind of uh, finishes. So that's like the main focus. I didn't have the, the best confidence when I came in here because I haven't. I felt like I been good in training but not super good so uh, it's a it's a good uh, yeah it's a good uh, boost for the for the next days and also the rest of the season you have also two stages yeah it's two more stages uh, that I can do well so we will see uh, it will be maybe fun to uh, try one stage with Alan but uh, yeah, I don't know uh, if I get more bonus seconds then I could probably uh, Try to go all out on the last stage also, so that will be um, maybe interesting to see how well I can do it in the GC. But yeah, we we'll just take it day by day. And last year you came here, you won, and you had such a great season on to the Tour de France and such. This is setting you up well, more experience this year. Yeah, just confidence that I. I think the main thing that I'm done differently is just try to um, know when I'm supposed to like turn my head on or like be really mentally ready so now I'm like a little bit more relaxed in the start of the race and then in the final I really try to switch on and be really focused so I think that's that's like the main thing I've uh, changed a little bit also so uh, because you only need focus for uh, I don't know 15 minutes in the end and the rest of the race, of, of course, they can happen things. You have to be, uh, you have to pay attention. But uh, if you want to win, that's like the main thing. So, uh, so that's uh, that's something I've, uh, yeah, I think I lost a little bit in the first year of uh, my uh, senior career, but uh, found my way back to like. Uh, yeah, I don't know the killer instinct that I had when I was a junior. We just got a word there from Soren Warren Skold, massive 1.95 meters tall, big towering rider, and punched his weight to get up here to the stage finish first today with this beautiful nature reserve off to the side. And what a day of racing. Also in second place, the Eritrean rider. Hanuk Mullenbon, I hope I'm pronouncing his name correct. All those guys swamped, swarm Pierre Latour to make an exciting stage finish here in the Saudi Tour this year. And it bodes well for our Norwegian friend from Team Uno X because last year he won here when it was named the Saudi Tour. This year he's back for the Alula Tour and it set him up well for the Tour de France and everything on beyond 22, 23 years old. He's got a big schedule ahead of him with the classics coming up, Trino Adriatico, Milan San Remo, and then of course Paris Bay, all those cobbled classics and hopefully another bid at the Tour de France. But it all starts here, Saudi Arabia, the Alula Tour, and when Norwegian and now on top, thanks to his stage win.